Hey, hello everyone. Let's talk about playwright folder structure in this video. So what happens is after playwright installation, we can see in the project folder there are different files and folders are created. Or before working on playwright, it is necessary to understand why these files and folders are available in the project folder. Basically, we will see these four files or folders inside the playwright folder structure. First one is node underscore modules. It's a folder. Test, it's a folder. And these two files, package.json and playwright.config.json. Okay, these four files are very important in the playwright folder structure. Now, this is a blank project. Now, let me install Playwright and I will show you how these folders are created and will explain why these files and folders are required in the Playwright folder structure. I am just going into the command palette and I am, you can type the command install Playwright, then this will come. Now, we want to install only Chromium and I am going to do this with JavaScript. So I'm selecting these two checkboxes alone, Chromium and use JavaScript. When I click OK, you can see the terminal is open with this command. It is quite installation with the browser as Chromium and language as JS. Okay, so the installation is happening. It is quite fast actually. Okay, now the installation is done. Now let me clear this window. If you look at the left now right you can see the folder structures of playwright as i explained right the first folder is node underscore modules this is the folder where all the libraries and packages required to run this project will be available basically whatever we install via npm right so, so those libraries and packages are available in this folder you can see we just now install playwright right so whatever is the packages libraries bin files required to run playwright are available in this folder let's say in the future if we install any other npm package also that will come inside node underscore modules folder okay the next folder is test so this is where playwright will look for all the test by default, if you see, we have this example dot spec.js. It contains two simple tests. So Playwright will look under this test folder to see for any executable test. Now you can see it. We can see the run button, and we can run directly from here. This is test folder. Right, so the next one is we have this test underscore examples folder. So this folder. It is just an example. It contains an one advanced to play read script. So this is not a basic test. It is kind of an advanced test. We can refer when it is required. I will talk about this later. So the next file which we can see is so the, with this the folders are I as I told you we have this mainly we have this two folders node underscore modules and test. Okay. Now um, let's look at this file. Get ignore. So Playwright will add by default when we install it. Basically, this is to when we push the files to repository, these files are not required, like node modules, the test results where the Playwright tests are, I mean the test results are stored. Uh, so like this Playwright cache and report and all is not required. Those uh, folders are available to ignore inside this git ignore file. Okay. So the next one is package.json. So this package.json is the configuration file for this project. Okay. So we have installed Playwright along with JS, right? So under this dev dependency, we can see Playwright test with this latest version 1.52.0 is installed along with this type node 22.14.1 is installed. Okay. Other than that, any other script or settings required for this particular JS project is available inside this package.json. 
right on the next and last file is playwright.config.js this is the configuration file for this playwright project so whatever settings we need to change for this playwright that we can do this inside this configuration file okay for example we can change the test directory where the test can be run okay i mean where the test can be set for or we can change whether we can run the test in parallel or not whether we can run the test in headless mode or head mode or not where how we can set the reporters uh, setting the retry and uh, using the browsers which browser i want to execute all the settings related to playwright are available in available in this playwright.config.js file fine so this is the project structure when we install the playwright for the first time right now if we when we move towards the framework or when we go further right mostly what we will do is we will create one more folder called pages for page objects and uh, wait create pages for page object and uh, we may create one more folder called test data in order to get the test data mostly this will be the folder structure like selenium we don't need to define uh, everything this playwright itself comes as a package so we just need to utilize it it's a simple folder structure that we can understand easily right i think that's it for this video thanks